Hi guys, this is Shinji72. On my channel, recently we have showcased some mods which have uh, one thing in common. Phoenix, yes, fourth new idol in Skyrim. Kindly brought to us by guess who? Four. So this video will be divided into sections. The first one will be about what is Phoenix then how to install it with Mod Organizer and Nexus Mod Manager, and then what is a Finish Spell and what a Finish Creature is used for. Yes! You will be able to skip ahead each section by clicking at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So, what is Finish and why it's so tremendously important? Well, basically it adds animation and the key word here is uh, add. Let me make an example. If you have seen my vids, you will have seen this animation. It's a very nice uh, sword sheeting movement created by YY. And that's a new animation, but it's not a added animation. That means if you open up uh, Huawei's uh, mods, uh, if you check, uh, check inside of it, you will find this file. And this is the file which will replace the vanilla regular animation. So before finish, this was the only way to add a new animation into Skyrim by replacing existing ones. So not adding, but just uh, replacing. You could change the way you walk, the way you shoot your bow, the way you jump, and that was all. Phoenix and Four is creator changed all that. By hacking into the game, Force made it possible to actually add completely new types of animation. And now you understand why Phoenix is such of importance for the modding community. In a parallel universe where 4 was never born, we would not have a mod like Osekski. From fishing to adults mods, there would be nothing, and Skyrim would be such a sad, sad place. So guys, let's give an applause to 4 and let's see how to install Finis. <coughs> Ok, time to learn how to install this, let's start with Mod Organizer. First thing to do is to go to Nexus Finis page and download the main file here. On Mod Organizer check the download folder, at the bottom of it uh, the file downloaded will be here. Double click to install. Ok, this pop up screen will pop up, now you have to click here. Click on data. Now you have, these are all folders, now you have to drag each one into the main data folder. And you see, now it's happy, looks good. If you want, you can drag also the, the finish readme. Now these are empty folder actually, you can remove from the, from the installation and you are good to go. Click on it to activate and ok, this is not your usual mod. To use Finis you have to run a little software called the Finis Generator before launching Skyrim. Now we have to launch the generator and since we are in Mod Organizer we have to do like this. Edit. Say Finis. No. Finish generator and now look for you have to look for the binary click here now you have to go to the folder where you have installed mod organizer in my case it's F games mod organizer okay now you are we are inside the mod organizer go for mods scroll down all the way this is all the mods I have installed Ok, finish behavior, click here, click on tools, click on generated finish for user, 
Ok, and this is the binary we need, the binary DX file of the generator. This is very important. And this is APRI, which means open in Italian. Not so important, maybe. So, press on add. Close. Now, as you can see, we will have a finish generator. I have another finish because, of course, I have a thread installed. And now click on it. Run. And it will be launching the generator. So you can check here if you have the latest version of Finis. And now click on update. Ah, uh, here. Basically here, if you don't know what they mean, you can leave the all uh, empty. Just click on this one, the skeleton arm fix. And also if you are using uh, the Groove Tama Skeleton, the XPMS Skeleton with Race menu, click on this. I'm using it, so I'm clicking on this. Update Finish Behavior. Let's uh, don't don't look here. <laughs> Censor it. Okay, he is now is scanning all the animation, all the mods which are adding animation into the game, and it will give you some error if you if there is something wrong this is the final report these are all the animation which are basically added by Finis in my game and now you can run Skyrim with the new added animations See, Nexus Mod Manager. I'm using an older version because I know, I know there is some problem with the latest version of Nexus Mod Manager. As you can see, I don't use Nexus Mod Manager, so it looks a bit empty. But anyway, the procedure will be the same. So you have Restore Finish Behavior. Now click here on Setting, Support the Tools. As you can see, they talk about Finis here. Select the directory where Finis is stored. So click on here. It should be in your Nexus Mod Manager virtual directory. In my case, it's, uh, it's F. It's on the F driver. Games. Okay, Nexus Mod Manager. And now go to the virtual install. This is the Nexus Mod Manager virtual directory, a bit like uh, Mod Organizer. Okay, bigger windows, click on tools, click on generated for users. And that's it. Okay, and now, yes, launch finish. Launch the generator, check if it is the latest version available. Basically, click on this and on this only if you have uh, uh, XPMS skeleton with the race menu and update the behavior. The generator will start and once it has finished, launch the game as usual. And now the time has come to talk about two files you will find on Finis page, both optional. The first one is Finis Spells. If you install it, Finis Spell will give you some spells and a bunch of animations. One spell is used to select which animation you want to play and the others are used to select who is going to play that animation which could be you or some unfortunate NPCs. It's very useful to check if everything is working properly. It's also very useful for video making in Skyrim and or otherwise it's just just fun. Yes. And then and then there is a second optional file and that's finished creatures. So what's finished creatures all about? Uh, eh. Okay, as you have guessed, most, if not all, uh, adult mods rely on Finis for their animation. And so Finis Creature is for, yes, animal lovemaking. Now, of course, you will think, okay, Shinji is not crossing this line and showing us some beast lovemaking, right? Yes, of course, of course. And I did, and I did. 
but okay, come on, guys. Isn't this animation quite poetical? Actually, there is only one creature animation I know of that is not uh, adult related. Dog and shaking and dog belly scrubbing. Consider this a preview courtesy of the animator, Lebski. So I don't know, maybe someone is planning a dog follower mod. Anyway, there is one last important bit of information I want to give you. If you got this, no panic. This is the so-called T-Pose and it only means that you have forgot to run uh, the Phoenix generator. Maybe you have added a mod which adds uh, new animations or maybe you have removed one and you forget to update to run the generator again. No problem at all anyway, your save won't be corrupted by this, just close the game and run the Phoenix generator again. And this is it, hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, if you did please subscribe, join me on Facebook and Twitter, and uh, see you next time, this is uh, Shinji 17, bye!